Well, welcome there, friends. Um, I wanted to um, show you one of the books that I've made recently from a wedding that we did uh, just a few months ago. And uh, I did the album for the family. And I think it's an awesome project and I just wanted to share it because I think it's worthwhile to um, still retain your projects on, on books. So this one I ordered from Costco. And believe it or not, they're excellent. <clears throat> Not only that, the, the quality is very good because you got the hardback, but um, they're 12 by 12 and they do a fantastic job for the price. Um, they like what I did on some other albums and so they, they requested the album. This book and I'm showing it here on our TV stand so that uh, you can see that you can place it anywhere you would uh, like to uh, show it or present it and have it available. We also have other albums here that we have family albums on our living room table. And uh, so like again, that. here is the album. And so I wanted to show you all of the uh, pages that I selected for the album. And so I took over 600 page, uh, pho photographs from the wedding and um, I narrowed it down to the top 130 or so. Uh, pictures and uh, the, the, the books they make is really high quality I consider from uh, a lot of the uh, other manufacturers uh, like Shutterfly. Shutterfly does a very nice job too but what I like is that they throw in the uh, lay flat uh, feature that um, I was just checking for another album that I have and they charge like $60 in uh, Shutterfly for the lay flat and this one's included in here for $40, believe So here we have the uh, photographs of other men getting ready. That was my first uh, get together about an hour before the wedding. Um, actually a little more, probably an hour and a half. But anyways, the gentleman getting ready here. And um, I took some of the pictures of the, the clothes he's wearing, the rings, and then the father and the stepfather, uh, friends and then his kids uh, as they all were getting dressed and then um, I proceeded to the church where she was getting uh, dressed and um, I took these nice photos of uh, the mom and the cousin uh, getting uh, getting ready for for the wedding and um, like I said all these pictures are in 12 by 12 so it's very nice you can lay out uh, five up, uh, four up, whatever you want in some of these photographs. And after that you get to kind of size them and, and move them around if you like. So it's, it's kind of nice because you get to group more pictures. And here she is with her brother and uh, her, her daughter and a little baby. And, uh, and so, uh, you know, occasionally I like to play with the colors and this one I use sepia there. Um, this one, I love this picture here of her, and I did a full spread. And like I said, the, the lay flat combination, I don't know if you can see it there, but the lay flat um, really does a nice job in, in showing the whole picture, not getting a crease in the, in the photograph. And then here she is coming into the, to the church. And uh, here she's receiving, uh, the, the groom is receiving the bride. And, uh, here we have uh, parts of the ceremony. And here we go with uh, the conclusion of the, of the celebration of the mass and, and the marriage. Here's the one giving, giving, uh, putting on the ring and uh, the final kiss here. And uh, that's, that's basically uh, you know, the, the important thing is you want to keep it in the right sequence and make sure you got the best quality pictures. So now we move to the, uh, the reception uh, part of the album. And uh, this, this picture here that I took uh, was actually the last picture that I took out of the whole uh, 600 pictures that I took. <clears throat> but I like this picture because it has such a, a nice uh, effect with the uh, little boy trying to reach the balloon. 
and the family had done this whole backing with uh, just married and everything. So it was very nice to, uh, to include this in the album. Uh, I've changed the background on this page here. You can see it's different from the others that are stamped. And then uh, it's nice because you get to set up uh, your pages in any way you prefer. Either the three up on this side or, or vice versa, or you can do a full page like on this one here. Um, this picture here, I love the, the effect of the tree around this one. Um, <clears throat> I took several pictures there, it was very nice. It was a nice uh, place to take photographs. And then here is uh, another one of them just with the, the tree in it and then the clarity and the, the focus on the, on the lens is just uh, unbelievable and beautiful. Uh, these albums are shiny. As you can see, they can get some smear on it, but overall, it's not gonna. It's not gonna. Uh, you can wipe it off and clean it. Um, uh, here is the uh, pictures at the reception and their garage, and they remodeled the garage so that they would have a nice place to do the reception and keep it family and small. Uh, they did a beautiful job with uh, all these strands and the lights, and uh, here's their wedding rings. Uh, the table with their their special bottle here. Uh, uh, his father and, and mother, and uh, and the uh, the bride's family on that on that picture there. And uh, here's uh, the the meal pictures with the, the kids. I like to get the the kids involved as well. And uh, here you have the family, some dancing. And so you just take kind of, you know, the, the, the good pictures that, that will resemble the event and, and uh, stand out because you, the book only gives you kind of like, depending on the size of the book, may give you 25 or 28 or 20 or 30 pages. I, I don't remember exactly. Different books will give you a seven. But then if you want to add pages, you can incorporate more pages and add more photos. But then the price starts going up, of course, and each page is about $2. So um, you got to keep that in mind. But anyways, you want to be able to include as much as you can and not not leave anybody out from the uh, from the album and the event. So here's the kiss, cutting the cake, and, uh, and then their final dance here, which I, I enjoyed this picture here because they actually turned off all the lights. So my flash uh, just brought it to life. That uh, was fantastic. They turned off the lights and lit these little uh, paper bags with uh, little candles in it. And then uh, they had a surprise. They they made these uh, shirts for them, and uh, they all put it at the very end, kind of like a surprise, you know, talking about the history of you know how they all came about, because they uh, been married six years, and and uh, they've had some kids along the way, so uh, it was a nice surprise. So I put it back here, uh, the invitation, and the uh, the writing of the shirt. So. And like I said, this is a great memory and you can keep it for a long time. So enjoyed working on this. Glad you enjoyed. I hope you uh, uh, put some like on the on the uh, on the album and uh, and uh, recommend to anyone you you can think of because uh, uh, I think we're losing the uh, the quality of uh, uh, photography and and uh, physical touch of things. I think this is a, makes a good present or a good memory. Thank you.